somewhere in there, I think you can see it, there is a combine. So we're out uh, just around the Kerwood area. Uh, we've got the Ideal out here. Um, so seven, class seven with a 40 foot Gehringhoff on it. And then we've got two New Hollands, class eights, with 45 foot uh, Macdons on them. One is an FD1 and one is an FD2. So just sort of comparing these machines today a little bit. Um, just did a loss check and n nobody's throwing anything off the back end. So it's kind of be to be expected with beans and, and these machines. They're pretty good with that sort of stuff. But I'm really interested to see what the flex of these heads. There's some pretty good gullies through here. And it'll be interesting to see what the flex of the heads are like here, uh, comparing those with these guys. So I'll show you as he's coming by. You can already see the flex of that head going down into that gully there now. There's a bit of a ridge there. And as long as he slows down a little bit, it'll go through there. Just when you get a little bit of speed up, it can't re respond fast enough. So it shaved down the sides, obviously left some down the middle, but that's a pretty deep gully down in the middle. And then it got everything down, down the side there. Awesome. See the spread pattern from ours. And actually it was one thing the customer said that he didn't think the spread pattern was as good on the New Holland. These guys are actually uh, a long time customer of ours. They've got a bunch of Fent tractors. Um, the buggy tractors come up here. I'm not sure if it's a thousand or a nine. I think it's a thousand. Big singles on it. Yeah, it's a thousand. Three combines, he's gonna have his hands full. It sounded like they ended up putting a few more trucks on to try and keep up with, uh, with these machines. Um, they were saying that the New Hollands are pushing 20, 21 acres an hour. And if we can get up to speed with the, the uh, ideal, uh, we should be fairly close. Might be able to get up to that speed too. So this is the unit with the FD2. You can tell by the silver reels on the front.
So, so far what I've seen is uh, fent tractors with Joe dogs and hopper bottoms behind it is what I've seen for trucks so far. Um, so we'll see if that's what they're doing or if there's uh, any trucks in the mix. So the ideal is a bit ahead of everybody else. So he's gonna make a cut down through the center there, let the buggy get over. And I don't know if you can see, but in behind him, the two New Hollands are half full. So I mean, maybe one thing on this combine that's a little bit different than the other ones is uh, they've got about a three, 330, 340 bushel bin, somewhere in there, maybe a bit more with it being heaped. Uh, the ideal is at 485 is where it's sitting at from a, from a bin capacity. which is also going to be cool because this will get them staged a little bit closer to each other and we'll be able to see all three of them together. Well, they're just going to go around them. these two come through and then I'll go give him a hand if he needs one. And that's, and that's what 130 feet at a time looks like. Crazy.
So this demo is going really good. Um, they're kicking some ass here, getting some uh, some ground covered. Um, you can see the dust is absolutely flying from the three of them. Can't hardly even see where they are for the dust. Um, from what I can tell, the smaller fent is holding its own against the, the eights. Um, fairly similar in, in acres per hour. Um, customer did say he wished it had a bit more power, but again, for a class seven, that's, that's what it is. And it, uh, it's holding its own. So, um, I'm going to let them keep going. They've got another hundred or so acres here between the three of them to cut and that'll be it for the day for them. And then, uh, we're going to a class customer tomorrow. Um, I got a 10:50 demo in the morning and then, uh, the 70 will go to the class customer to run, uh, run against their, uh, their machine. So. So I'm, I'm having a ton of fun putting this together. I'm, uh, I'm hoping that everyone's enjoying them. Um, if there's any directions you would like me to go that I'm not, um, I think everyone knows that I'm in sales. I'm a product specialist. I'm playing with combines and tractors all the time. If you've got questions, you want to know something that I'm, I haven't shown, uh, throw it down in the comment section. I'm happy to try and explain it or, or do something with it anyways. So. With that, uh, I hope you're enjoying the videos. I'm sure having a blast putting them together. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.